guys, this is Isaac bringing you guys a Talking Wobble base tutorial. I've been getting a lot of requests from friends on how I make my Talking Wobble bases. Today I'm going to be showing you how it's done using Fruity Loops 10. You can follow along with Fruity Loops 9 or 8 or whatever other versions you have. It's really not that hard at all. It's, it's really similar to 10, but... Yeah, let me just open up FL Studio here. One more thing before I start. You're going to want the Bitcrusher VST. I will post a link in the description. It's a free download, and it's really awesome. You will not regret the download, trust me. It works miracles. So first things first, we have to add Citrus. So open up your plugin picker by hitting Control and F8 at the same time. You also got, you know, it organizes it for you here. Whatever. Synthesize it. Add it. Sweet. Okay. I apologize in advance um, for the shitty quality of this video, the sound, but. It shouldn't really matter if you're following along. And one other thing, my speakers, it won't let me record the audio on this video for some reason. So if you can't hear my speakers, then I apologize for that. Besides, um, if you're following along with the video, you have an idea of what it sounds like. So yeah, let's get started. First, what you wanna do, is hit the main tab, hit this little arrow over here, go on to your presets, hit, um, you want to select the default preset. Now, for FL Studio 9, I know that when you go onto presets, it opens up like this huge, um, window of a lot of presets and shit but the default preset should probably be like in the top left corner just in case you can't find it. So once you got that, I don't know if you guys can hear this or not, but I'm gonna give it a shot. It sounds like a little beep. What you wanna do is just lower the pitch all the way down. Yeah, I know you guys can't hear this at all. I'm using speakers right now, I'm not using my headphones, but it's this really low tone. You can obviously hear it if you play higher tones. But what it does is it just like makes it more bassy. You could probably hear it if you have really good headphones, but yeah. So once you got that down, what you want to do is go into Op 1, click that tab. Click the Volume tab if it's not clicked, and then the LFO tab. Once you got that, you should see this little arrow down here. What you want to do is click it, go all the way up, click on open state file. You have four options here. You're going to select the one bar triangle and open that up. Now you got a triangle wave. For a lot of dubstep, obviously wobbles, so you want what you want to do is, you know, turn up the speed of the tone to like maybe three o'clock i'll play a higher tone so you guys can hear it i don't know if you guys can hear it again but you know i apologize for that you can already hear it wobble so that's that you can adjust the speed whatever you want obviously the lower it is the less Wob wob wob. You get the higher it is, you get more of a wob 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 wob. So there you have it. I usually adjust it to like three fours just to start off. Um. Okay. So exit that out. What you want to do now is open up your mixer. And I know FL Studio 10's mixer is a bit more different. Um. It's not that different actually, but it just looks different. Um, still the same thing. Just click on insert one, 
right click, click on the link, select the channel, so this track. There you go, you got your citrus loaded. Now what you want to do is click over here, get your bit crusher. Sweet. You got your bit crusher out. This is what it looks like. This is really on self preference on your part, but what I usually do, I select the third option, I turn up my drive all the way to 24.6, the bit depth on 24 bits, and usually my down sampling, I probably leave it up between 27 and 30. It's really on self preference, you can mess around with the sounds, and that's what it sounds like, it's sort of talking wobble. I, again, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but if you do, awesome. So, got my bit crusher. Now, what I'm gonna do here is uh, mess around with the piano roll for a bit. Right click on Citrus. Make a quick little melody here for you guys. Again, this is just for shits and giggles and tutorial purposes. I'm not really trying to make an awesome bass line right now. But yeah, add the pattern. Uh, again, Fruity Loops 10 is a bit different. It doesn't have that other half of the screen in the bottom of the, whatever the shit's called, the playlist. You can add it down here if you want, but... For me, I've always just added it up here, the playlist. So, yeah, okay. So we got our simple little bass line going. Wow, that really does sound like shit. But anyway, alright. So, I know you're probably wondering, okay, so it's just going to stay, like, one constant wub 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 actually you can actually uh, change that what you do is you open up your citrus right here in the speed you can create an automation clip now I know a lot of my friends that use FL Studio don't really know a lot about automation clips and I'm not gonna get into that right now because this is just a quick tutorial but um, yeah, for for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how it's done. You, you open up Citrus, you right-click on the speed channel, and then you create an automation clip, and it should automatically just add it to the track. What automations clip, what automation clips do? They just pretty much, you know, mess around with the the envelope and everything. I don't know. It's it's hard to explain right now. I'm a bit high. Sorry. But, yeah, uh, this is going to change the speed. So, let me show you. You create, you create um, these points by right-clicking anywhere on the line. So, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly you know, create something. So, this changes the speed of the... Uh, with the wobble here you could probably so there you go I again I don't know if you heard that but if you did sweet so that's how you create a simple talking bass you got your uh, automation clip there to control the speed of the wobble um, there's also you can also create different wobbles using 3x osc but since this is a talking wobble tutorial all you really need is a bit crusher you're you're solid you can use any other like 
let's say Citrus, 3X OSC, any other sound as long as it has those LFO settings for the speed to make it wobble, that's all you need, and just bit pressure. And there you go, you got your talking wobble. It's simple, fast, easy. Um, you can also add different distortions too to make it sound even more deep and fucking scary and filthy and shit. Like a bass boost or a blood overdrive or even a, a fast distortion. So, there you have it guys. Um, thanks for watching. My next video will be automation clips and I'll teach you guys how to do a talking wobble on the 3x OSC. So, thanks. Take care. Don't stay out too late. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Bye.